Hi, my name is Tanya and welcome to the fifth video in the Trading for Teens series. Today we're going to be looking at stops. So one major point is that when you buy a stock, always put a stop. So what is a stop or a stop loss, loss order? It's an order to sell a stock when it reaches a certain price. So in a previous video, I mentioned that I got stopped out of the stock here, Roku. So let's look at what actually is a stop. So let's say that I bought the stock over here and I put a stop for this price. Maybe it was $94 or something like that. So when the stock went down and it hit this price, the stock sold automatically. So when you put a stop, then if your stock goes below that price, it will sell automatically. What stops do is they reduce your risk because if a stop stock starts going down, it will sell so your loss won't be so great. You can also use stops to prote protect your profit. So if you put a stop, if you put a stop here at this, if you bought Netflix stock here and you put a somewhere here and you put a stop here and then the price went up somewhere over here, then you can move your stop up so that you're protecting the profit that you've already made. So now if, so now if your stock price is up here and it drops below this red line, you'll still make this amount of profit because your stop is now here. So you can do that again. You can move your stop up when the stock goes up so that you're protecting your profit. When you buy a stock, you should always put a stop. You can program a buy order in such a way that when you buy a stock, it will automatically put a stop as well. People make big losses because they forget to put a stop. The first lesson one should learn is to always put a stop. That's the end of the video. Thank you and have a great day.